It's been nearly three years since that grisly crime was committed here at Barristers Hall. And since then, Lauren Giddings' family and friends have had several burning questions, including what happened to her body. Well, today, in McDaniel's written statement, they finally got that answer. It was 4.30 a.m. on Sunday, June 26th. Steve McDaniel says he entered Lauren Giddings' Barristers Hall apartment with a master key from the complex wearing gloves and a mask. She woke up, told him to get out, and that's when he says he leapt on the bed, grabbed her throat, and began choking her. Some of her last known words, according to McDaniel, Stephen, please stop. McDaniel strangled her to death and dragged her lifeless body into the bathtub. I returned to Lauren's apartment around midnight Sunday to begin to dismember her with the hacksaw that was later recovered from the laundry room maintenance closet. I removed her limbs and head, wrapped them in several black trash bags separately, and discarded them in the Mercer Law School dumpster across the street from Barrister's Hall Apartments. He writes he put her wrapped up torso in the garbage can at the apartment complex early in the morning on June 28th. McDaniel said he never sexually accosted Giddings before or after he killed her. In fact, from his statement, his motive is still unclear. McDaniel wrote he joined the search party late Wednesday night, still in a dreamlike delusional state in which I believed at the time, while taking part in the search, that Lauren was still alive and that I had not done what I had done, even searching the empty law school in a delusional hope of finding Lauren alive and well, as if I had not really killed her. To this day, McDaniel says, I am not delusional or without morals or decency, but says something in his makeup must explain what he did. McDaniel closed out his statement by saying he was very sorry, but he doesn't expect forgiveness. To read his full statement, head to 41NBC.com.